Hi, I'm back as I promised I'm going to do decimals. So let's get started with decimals and proportions. So we will add proportion plus decimal. So let's get started. So in order to get started, we first need to know how to add, divide, subtract and other things with decimals. So if you know how to do that, that's great. You could go on this step. But if you don't know how to divide, multiply, and subtract decimals, then you could go. I'll give you a link. Uh, you could just stop started doing. So let's see. So now I have written my problem. So let's see. I'm gonna do it too. If seven bucks, I know this is funny, cost f fifty three cents. How many will how many twenty bucks will cost? So how many twenty bucks cost? So let's see. So you could write bucks as as y. And you could do the cost for y. So x equals bucks. You could put any numbers y m a c, but x is good. So x bucks and y for cost. So let's see. So this is seven. So you could turn the seven into a number. So seven bucks cost fifty three cents. And how many twenty eight bucks cost? So in order to do this, first you need to write. You need to find the unit rate. I question. Unit rate. Unit rate or how unit fair. unit. I mean unit rate, unit price, and concept of proportionality. They are all same. So, oh, let's get started. So, we, you take 7 because now you don't know what this will cost. So, you, you take the one that you know the cost price. So, how many will 1x, which is bugs, x or bugs, 1 bugs equals what if 7x, that's bugs, cost Zero point fifty three Y because that's the cost. So still the same you crisscross. So let's crisscross this. Fifty three times one is what? Zero point fifty three times one equals zero point fifty three. And then now you have seven in here. So you need to divide seven by these. So let's do it. Seven divided by um zero point fifty three. So seven doesn't go into D zero, so you put a zero and you have to line up the decimal so decimal and five doesn't go into seven so zero and now three so you add five plus three because they're now friends so fifty three seven div what how many does how many times does seven go into fifty three? So let's see, 7 times 7 is 49, um, so it's not more, but it's less, so it can be less too. It can be much more. So 7 times 8 is 56, well that's more, so you're going to take 4, I mean not 4, 7. So, I mean, not, I'm sorry to say this, but 7 is more, it keeps some more. So, let's see, 7 times 7 is 7. <laughs> so, let's go. So, it's 49. So, you, you have to subtract this. So, let's see. 9, uh, so 10, 11, 12, 13, it's going to be 4. You have one in hand, so one plus five, I mean four is five, so you gotta say. So it's remaining four, but if it's remaining, you should put a decimal. I mean, wait a minute, we already have a decimal, so you cannot do that. So your answer will be seven. So you find this seven, so now you know that one bugs equals. Seven dollars. So 
one buzz equals seven dollars I mean seven cents so it's seven cents so then now you know if one equals seven cents then how much are 28 gonna equal to so as you could see that you could do the same set of a proportion 28 X equals what you could put sorry what and then you could put 1 x equals 0 0.07 cents so you would just do the same so 0 0.7 times 28 and then you just you know 0 0.07 times 28 and then you do it and whatever you get you divide it by 1 and that's gonna be the answer to my question oh. so try it at home practice it more at this website I'm going to write you the website it's khanacademy.com dot org I'm sorry so if you go to the website they'll give you plenty of you know problems you could choose your grade and sign up it just takes a moment and then you'll know you just you'll just get it so see you next video